Hello dear viewer as French as Captain Picard Murdoch X here and today I'll be making ramen with spaghetti squash because my friend Atlas dared me to. You know what? He double dog dared me. He did it in a video and I can't not take a challenge from a video. That's like YouTube rules. Don't don't meow at me, I'm recording stuff. <laughs> so yes, spaghetti squash will be turned into ramen. You'll see. You'll all see. Stop meowing. Are you gonna jump on me? You always jump on me when you do that. I figure first we're gonna need to cut something. We're gonna, we're gonna need to cook this squash. The, the squash. We're gonna, we're gonna cook that, but first we gotta cut it. First we gotta put the thing under it. Let's cutting board it. This is kinda hard to do one-handed with a camera in the way, huh? Sell an atlas that normally I cut long ways, but he says you get a longer strings if you cut it this way, and you know, his band of string is of atlas, so I figure if anybody's gonna know about strings, it's gonna be the atlas. So we're gonna try it this way, we're gonna see how it goes. I've never done it before. There we go. Now that we've got that open, start cutting out all of this, the middle stuff. Yes. Oh, you know what? I forgot to wash my hands. Okay, I'm back with washed hands now. We'll keep on doing this. There's a cat butt here. Cat butt, please don't ruin my food. I'm just gonna get that out of the, the danger zone. Yes. Just scoop it out. Just imagine it's the skull of your enemies. Just get it right out of there. Just dump it right onto a cutting board. Just like you would on the battlefield. Unlike Atlas, I don't have chickens to feed these two. But I do have cats, so. Cats, come eat it. Oh, look. It's for you. Do not, do not love me. Do not love the food I provide for you. Come back. <sighs> and now, without any love, I'm just gonna take some oil and rub it onto this spaghetti squash. <sighs> Is squash even worth making? Rub, 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 rub. And then it's time for salt. Now, I didn't wanna be outdone when it comes to salt, so we're using kosher sea salt. It's not pink, but it's kosher. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. I promise I will sweep that up later. And then the pan with water in it. Not something I've ever tried, but I saw a guy on YouTube recommend it. I'm gonna give it a shot. And you know what? I guess if I can make it fit in here, like Atlas made it fit in his stove, then I. We'll get this going. Oven. Accept my gift. May it feed you. And may the timer on this oven be as though the minutes counting down our life. I don't know what that means. And it's time to get to chopping. Now, first we chop the onion. I don't think I'm gonna need this whole onion, but I'm gonna get it going. Let's get off all of this skin. You know, we'll leave it on that side, actually. Makes it kind of easier to cut off there at the end. And we'll cut off this other side. Just fed that to my chickens. I have chickens. I can't prove it on camera, but you're required to believe me. I'll just, you know, I'll just edit in video of, of Atlas's chicken and claim they're mine. See, here's my chickens, right here, on the screen. 
Is that enough onion? Yeah, it's enough onion. I don't know if you're supposed to take out this like core piece, but I always do. Like that seems like not the best piece to like eat, right? Then we'll turn the oven to the Tupperware and to the fridge. Pretty sure this is a shallot. I think that's what it is. Um, how do you crack these open? You just like that, right? Yeah, that seems like the way to do it. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but it'll work. But it will work. Oh yeah, that's a shallot. These are like kind of like halfway between garlic and onion. I'm trying to cook with these more lately. To be honest, I don't really know how to though. But I just kind of fake it. You know, like I look up basically like how things taste and how they cook and, and I kind of roll with it. And that's just it. Everything you're seeing today that I'm making is just kind of stuff that I thought would go together. Cause that's how I cook. I just look at what I have and imagine if the flavors would work well together. Chop these up all fine and nice. Fine and nice. Like my wife. You know what? I'm cutting uh, those up. I'm gonna cut these up like that too. Chop, 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 chop. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Oh yeah, I just, you know, I had no idea you were allergic to onions, uh, Atlas. Oh, man, I'm making a mess. I shouldn't be talking while I'm cutting food, I guess. Yeah, I just learned that Atlas was uh, allergic to onions. That's, that's too bad, I didn't know that. I imagine that uh, those things, imagine that this thing probably counts Sorry to hear that, friend. You know what? I'm leaving out the garlic. We're not gonna bother. Change my mind on the garlic. But what I'm not changing my mind on is the cabbage. Man, I have been loving some cabbage from lately. I don't really, again, this thing, I don't, I don't really know how you're supposed to do it, but I just kind of get rid of this, like, stemmy part. I don't know, because that seems like a little bit much, right? I just chop up the leaves and throw it into stuff all rolled up. I put cabbage in for the flavor. I don't really, I don't think I would much care for the texture, but I really like the flavor of cabbage. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to wash these. Don't forget to wash your vegetables. You know, one of these things, I'm gonna have to like look up this stuff. Like, uh, is my wife, she'll look up interesting, like technical cooking things um you know online and she'll make me eggs i'm like wow these are really good she's like oh that's because like i looked up some like tips and tricks from like alton brown oh that's smart why don't i do that you know what i think that's a good collection of vegetables i'm gonna pan fry that up i i also need to uh reach inside my oven and i need to flip over the chicken uh according to my research the chicken and the spaghetti squash should take the same amount of time to cook but i'm supposed to flip the chicken halfway through and i haven't done that but i'm gonna do it now yeah no, i'm only like Four minutes late, it's it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, start to cook nicely. Kinda of cooking on medium, trying to keep the temperature low so that it cooks kinda evenly. I think I may have made too much. Well I mean I'm sure I did because you know I just had a lot to cook. But it'll all get used later. You know what? Meal prep. We're doing the meal prep thing. Not on purpose. That's not what I was trying to do, but this is what I'm doing now. Gonna have a whole lot of this mix. It's not too much of that. You know, I highly recommend these uh these stone frying pan these things are amazing it's nearly impossible to get things to stick with this like if you if you cook an egg in there the wrong way you can get that to stick a little bit but otherwise these things are amazing the best frying pan I've ever owned look at that it's getting nice and soggy onions are starting to get a little translucent all is going well oh the smell the smell is amazing I should probably throw uh, some other seasonings in there now I'll wait I'll wait and do that with the broth you want no no, I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna do it now. Nope, change my mind again. I think we're gonna switch to the other pan. I'm gonna switch it all to this now. I wish I had cooked with this pan originally because I was gonna be transferring everything into here. It would have just been easier to be doing this part in there. I don't know. I get so excited about this frying pan. I get I forget forgetful. Throw some water in here. Hot water because hot water boils faster than cold water. Because it's ridiculous to think anything else. I will be adding more water later, but I just want to add a little bit for now so this will keep cooking. Put the top on, it's the wrong size, but it's fine. It's fine, it'll hold the heat in so it's will warm up a little faster. And then I am going to grab uh, seasonings. It's ramen, so I mean, some miso is good, right? I mean, that seems like it would work. I've been using uh, miso a lot lately. I bought it for one recipe a while back, and 
been uh, using it in a few things with, with a fair amount of success. I make a, a sort of a spinach dip with this where you take frozen spinach miso and mayonnaise and just kind of mix them together and cook it up a little bit and that actually works surprisingly well. And uh, of course we need the beef base. We're going to use a, a beef base. I mean the soup base. We're just going to use a, a beef base with this. You know what? I cooked chicken. I should have used the chicken base. I forgot that I got chicken. Oh well, too late to turn back now. We'll use one chicken bouillon cube to balance it out. That, that'll work. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Since I didn't use any of that fresh garlic, I'm gonna use some garlic powder. I figure since this is like kind of a soup thing, it's fine. I use a lot, I don't know, that much. And then of course, one of the important ingredients is not garlic powder, I cross it out, I put, because this is MSG, but it came inside of a bag, so I used this old thing to put it in. I'm gonna add a bunch of MSG. Now, you may have heard that MSG is bad for you. Go ahead and look that up on the internet. Don't take my word for it, but it's not. It's absolutely not. There's zero evidence that MSG is bad for you. None. Well, any more than like you know, salt. It's not good for you, but it's certainly not as bad as people seem to think. Uh, it's a, I should say it's a naturally occurring thing in seaweed and in soy. And I'm spilling stuff everywhere. It's gonna drive me nuts. I'm stirring with the spatula. That's gonna need a taste test and some more water still. You know what, since I am adding more water, I can probably get away with adding more uh, chicken seasoning and kind of rescuing it from that beef flavor. And I shouldn't have put it in there. <laughs> but you know, it happens. When you, when you wing it like I do, it happens. And you, you roll with it. I'm sure it'll be fine. If not, I'll eat it anyway. Crank up the heat, cover it up. I've got three minutes left on the chicken and the, uh, the spaghetti squash that's in the oven. And then I'm gonna have to put this all together somehow. So that's gonna happen, whether I like it or not. But I'm gonna, I need to stop this from boiling over. I'm gonna turn that down to like a low. Let that settle itself down. And I'm gonna check out the squash. See how, ooh, that's soft, it's soft right there. I think that's uh, I think that's gonna be okay. Let's grab some utensils that won't burn me so I can flip this over and take a peek. See if the magic has worked. Uh, you know, I think that's okay. Look at that. That is a, I think that does give it longer strings because it looks like it'll go all the way kind of around. So I think I like this way of doing it. Yeah, that looks okay. We got my chicken, it looks okay. I'm gonna cut one of those open just to double check. You know, there's probably a better way of doing this than just like taking one and cutting it open, but that looks all right. Not pink in the middle. Fantastic. Nom, 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 nom. What am I doing? This is for the ramen. This one's my favorite. So, I cut it. I'm sure that's not how you're supposed to do it, right? Oh, go oh, I'm burning myself. Oh, I'm burning myself. Oh, I'm still burning myself. Stop, stop burning me. Stop it. This is, this is not how you're supposed to do it. But we got through it. That's how I want to put it in my bowl. Like that. I have my ramen bowl. You can tell it's a ramen bowl because it has, has holes for doing this, which I, I don't know why that matters, but it does. It's very important. We're gonna get this spaghetti squash spaghetti-fied. Aw, oh, yeah, there it is. I'm gonna get these out of the way because that's in the way. Toss them right in there. Oh, I'm burning myself. Okay, all right, oh, that's enough burning myself. I think that's a good amount of noodles in there. Got my broth I'm gonna pour in here. And then I've got a couple of nice pieces of chicken. And we see how this tastes. Now, you may be thinking, Levi, you got those chopsticks ready. Why aren't you using those? And I, I just don't feel like it. I just don't wanna deal with that right now. You may also be wondering why there's a plate. It's cause this bowl is hot. This bowl is hot, 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 and if I'm going to stand here and hold it and try to eat it for you, this is how you do it. It's camera magic. Got my pieces of chicken in here. Oh, goodness. Making a mess. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how spaghetti squash ramen goes. Get a little bit of veggies on here, too. I got some onions, some shallots, some, some cabbage, some spaghetti squash. No chicken in this bite, though. 
that works. I am going to add some butter to it though. It's got a lot of, it's got a lot of good vegetables in here, but some of the powders I put in there made it nice and salty. So it really kind of feels like a ramen. The, uh, of course, the consistency with spaghetti squash is different. Now, here's the thing. I love spaghetti squash, but I don't actually ever try to use it as a replacement for spaghetti because I feel the flavor is different enough that it's not good for that. But I do think the flavor is really good. I think of Thanksgiving when I think of spaghetti squash. So things like, things like turkey, things like gravy, stuffing, that all works really well with spaghetti squash. Those are the things I would recommend. But this, this is all right. This worked out better than I thought it would, honestly. Like, I, I figured I'd make something okay, but I'll eat this all week. It doesn't hurt my feelings. I forgot to add butter. I'm still gonna do that. And the broth isn't too beefy. Can't talk anymore. Mm. Bye.